Welcome back to the Bowman's Ports Rail and Logistics Channel. My name is Andrew Pike. I attended an interesting meeting arranged by Business Leadership South Africa with the Minister of Transport, Barbara Creasy. She was there to give an update on all things logistics. She had a number of really interesting things to say. She said, for a start, she's dealing with five numbers or five metrics. The first one was to do with rail throughput. And there she wants to increase the current number from about 149 million tons a year to 250 million tons a year. The next was a port metric where she wanted to increase the average container moves of 15 to 18 per hour to a new 25 to 30 per hour. Then she had a metric for air freight of 1.2 million tons per hour and then two metrics for air and rail passengers, which we won't go into in this podcast. What was particularly interesting was that she acknowledged that in order to achieve this, there has to be private sector involvement and investment. And to this end, she's done a number of things. First of all, she's created a what she's calling a war room with Transnet, which will look at all the pinch points and start unclogging issues which are blocking logistics chain within Transnet. Then there is a private sector participation unit which has been created within DBSA, Development Bank of South Africa. And this is to fast track private sector investment in logistics infrastructure, but also to try and level playing fields for unsolicited bids for this sort of infrastructure development. What the minister did say was that the Durban container terminal bid has shown her two things. One is that there's a strong international appetite for the right sort of project in South Africa, but secondly, it comes with a certain measure of aggression. And part of her challenge then is to temper the aggression, but make sure that the right projects come on track. She acknowledged that the current procurement regime is very cumbersome, but believes that it can be smoothed out and is looking for smart ideas on how to do that. Then the really important piece was this. Several months ago, a rail network statement was published by Transnet. So the idea under the new national rail policy is that Transnet will continue to own the infrastructure, the rail network, but that access will be given to private sector participants. So Transnet, as manager of the infrastructure, put out a rail network statement. It had a few wrinkles which have been ironed out by the interim economic rail regulator and the minister. And the new rail statement um, is going to be published by the minister before the end of the year. She's adamant about that. And she says it will have what she describes as a menu of choices for private sector. The tariff will be right and more palatable than in the original draft. And she anticipates that there will be a strong move towards private investment and private tra rail operation. This is good news. And the minister said she will be putting out a number of RFPs in the new year to speak to this. Then the last major point she made was that she regards her job not just as increasing tonnages and metrics, but more importantly, preserving market share. She's painfully aware of the risk to market share presented by ports such as Valfus Bay, particularly on fruit exports, and Maputo, particularly on the dry bulk exports such as coal and chrome. She sees her job as trying to protect that market share and by doing by increasing tonnages locally, she believes she will do that. If she can increase the capacity, she will do that. My main concern is 
at the other end on the water side to ensure that there is less congestion, less waiting time for ships. And given the right time and the right move in metrics, I believe that within a year or so, our logistics could be back on track. The minister was sounding very purposeful to me. She knows exactly what she wants to achieve. And I think that she has both the tools and the political will to get it done. Watch the space.